Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp. These are great tools that most of us use, but we also know that they come with risks. They include public humiliation, sexual abuse and physical harm, sometimes leading to death. However, our investigations suggest that many young people are ignoring precautions to protect themselves. Our news team conducted a survey to get a sense of young people's online behaviour. We surveyed 19 girls aged 14 to 16. Our results showed that an alarmingly high percentage of them had given out personal information to strangers they had met online. More than a third of the girls had given their number online to someone they had never met before. 42% had spoken to someone online without knowing him or her. And a frightening 70% had recently accepted strangers' requests to be a friend. This teen told us that he sometimes takes risks, but has become more safety savvy in recent weeks. What nasty things happens to me on social media? Well, um, one day I checked my Facebook page, my home page, and I've seen that somehow someone posted uh, insults uh, to a friend of mine coming from my Facebook. I was hacked. And I changed, and this happened to me twice. So I changed my Facebook three times. This is one of the reasons why I don't want to see any strangers on my Facebook. Lauren Lafave lost her son after he went to meet an online stranger. Her 14-year-old boy, Breck Bedner, was stabbed to death after traveling from his Essex home to meet a 19-year-old gamer. Well, my 14-year-old son was groomed online. He was gaming online with friends from school. And so as a parent, I felt like it was a safe group to be gaming with. But unfortunately, there was someone in the group uh, that wasn't safe because of this. Um, online predator trying to uh, talk my son him to stop going to church, he wanted him to stop going to air cadets, he wanted him to quit school, and he was promising all sorts of things, such as um, a very lucrative job, a, a share in a very um, financially stable company, and none of this was true. In an age of grooming, online bullying and radicalization, social media risks are very real. Our school is aware of the risks lurking online, and recently observed eSafety Day. Reshma, what were some of the top tips that you learned on the day? So my top tips for online safety is to make sure that you keep your information secure, make sure that your password is secure, and be aware of the digital footprint and what information you upload, as well as images. Also make sure that you know who to report to if any of these happen. Some countries, such as Australia, are going even further by appointing a children's eSafety commissioner. The commissioner would have the power to compel social media sites to remove content he or she thinks would be harmful to children. Do we need an e-safety commissioner in this country? Reporting for BBC News, I'm Rashma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Lai, reminding you to keep safe online.